dears how are you here kamal deep kaur from doon public school in front of you to deliver the computer lecture grade 7 chapter 1 introduction to computers topic hardware before getting familiar to the term hardware we should know about what is the computer computer is basically derived from the word compute which as an electronic device that takes data and instructions as an input from the users process it and provides the useful information known as output basically the computer works on ipo cycle input data process and output as information and it stores in storage devices the basic computer components are hardware and software hardware means the physical structure of the computer that is the parts that can be touched by us for example keyboard mouse monitor printers these all are known as hardware hardware components are input devices cpu that is central processing devices output devices and storage devices or secondary memory input devices are those devices which takes the input from the users and process it and then send to different parts of the computer to give output first of all we can say that input devices lets you talk to the computer first input device keyboard keyboard is first peripheral to be used with computer to enter the text and numbers in the computers This is the structure of the keyboard which have tab key numeric key function keys alphabetic keys and so on Next one is mouse mouse is an input device that can move around on a flat surface and controls the pointer it is used to select the text assess menus and interact with programs or files mouse and joystick joystick is used to play the computer games next is scanner scanner is a device that scans the images printed text handwriting or an object basically it convert all these things into a digital image types of scanner flatbed slide handheld flatbed scanner looks like this it is like a photocopy machine which has a flat glass surface where the item to be scanned is placed handheld scanner it is used by dragging it over the object that is to be scanned and is most commonly used in shopping stores next is micr magnetic ink character recognition it is the character recognition technology that is used by banks and other sectors for processing and clearance of the checks it is used to scan the documents which contains account number bank code check number etc this is the micr code which is scanned by micr next one is digital camera Digital camera is a camera that takes videos or still photographs and digitally record it in an electronic image sensor. The graphic tablet which consists of flat surface upon which the user may draw. It also has a special pen to write on it. The image or word we draw on this device can be saved in the computers. Examples next is touch screen. touch screen the most prominent example is our mobiles it is a computer screen that can be used by touching it with the finger or a stylus pen instead of using a mouse and keyboard it can be described as a touch pad with the screen built into it next is webcam webcam is a digital camera that takes images and videos which is connected 
to the computer to upload the images immediately into the computer and we can share or stream it on the internet also next output devices output devices are the devices that gives information to the user after processing the data from the input devices output devices we can say that it is the result of the processing done by the computer the most common output devices are monitor and printer monitor monitor is used to provide the soft copy output that is we can see the result only on the screen next is printer printer gave us the hard copy that is we can produce the text and graphics on the paper these are the projectors and speakers the other output devices projector is the type of video projector which is used for displaying the videos images or computers on the flat surface of the screen speaker is used to transmit our voice into the sound card next is types of printers first one is dot matrix printer dot matrix printer refers to the process of placing the dots to form an image this is the type of dots which forms an image by the dot matrix printer and gives the output next is inkjet printer it is a non impact printer which provide a high quality print it is really provides extraordinary performance next is laser printer laser printer is advanced technology and produces a high quality output it is used to produce high quality graphics images its resolution is this next one is 3d printing 3d printing is an manufacturing technology to provides a three dimensional objects it is used to give the successive layers of material and laid down into different shapes these are the examples of 3d printing next plotter plotter is a computer printer for printing the vector graphics that is it is used to generate the printing with computer aided designs and video format conventional printers it gives a hard copy of the output and draws the pictures on the paper using a pen flat bed plotter is known as table plotter which plots on paper that is spread and fixed over a rectangular flat bed table it is typically the plot size is equal to the area of the bed which is used to design the cars ships aircrafts buildings highways here the main reason of the slow printing is due to the movement of mechanical devices on it this is flat bed plotter next one is inkjet printers the basic principle of inkjet printer is to produce the electrostatic phenomena that is it uses electronic charges in its operation inkjet printing is a type of computer printing that creates a digital image by putting the droplets of ink onto the paper next one is projector it is a device that uses light and lenses to take an image and project a magnified image onto a larger screen or wall types of projectors are overhead projector opaque projector dlp next is central processing unit it is the also known as brain of computer which controls all the decisions and do the calculations in the computers the main parts of the central processing unit are control unit arithmetic logic unit main memory arithmetic logic unit is used to perform all the comparisons calculations logic operations in the computer control unit 
control unit is used to communicate with all the other devices and obtain the instructions from the program stored in the main memory. Memory unit, it receives data, holds it and then delivers it according to the instructions given from the control unit. It is also an important part of computer system. Next is storage devices. These are of two types, primary and secondary. These are used to store the data, information and programs permanently. Primary storage devices, it is divided into RAM and ROM. RAM stands for random access memory or it is also known as volatile memory which as soon as the power gets off, no data is remain stored in RAM. Next one is ROM. It is read only memory which stores the data permanently. Next are secondary storage devices which have the external memory or auxiliary storage which is not directly accessible by the CPU but are connected from externally. The basic secondary storage devices are hard disk, floppy disk, CD, compact disk, micro vaults, etc. Now the worksheet based on the topics we have discussed. First of all you have to choose the correct option. First, ALU, CU and MU are parts of the software, CPU or RAM, drum, flatbed and inkjet are the three types of plotters, printers, projectors. Fill the blanks. A dash is a machine for manipulating data according to list of instruction is known as dash. Dash and dash are most commonly used output devices. Dash is used to display videos, images or computer data on a larger screen. The storage device of the computer system is refers to. Next question answers. Name the two types of memory. Write a short note on 3D printing. What is the relationship between the computer hardware and software? Explain the types of printers. Explain computer memory and its types. Name the input device used to sense and read thick and thin black stripes present on the items usually sold at supermarkets. Explain one advantage of using this device. Okay dear students, having any query or problem, you can message me on my WhatsApp number. Thank you.